go south. Coming in for another uh, Jamil and Joy podcast tonight. We are talking about too woke. <laughs> <laughs> too woke. Too woke. So woke. woke. You can't get to sleep. So woke. <laughs> before I get into anything, y'all, I just want to say happy Thursday to everyone. And before we even get into it, let me introduce my, my beautiful wife, my rider Liv. Not my rider mm-hmm. now, but my rider Liv, uh, who put up with me all these years and. Uh, been a uh just such a, a powerful uh spiritual destiny helper to me come on say hello to the people all man. right hello people hello <laughs> come on, thank y'all. you babe <laughs> <laughs> that's right y'all so we, we're not going to be long before y'all we are just um wanting to talk about this subject we actually wanted to do this a while back mm-hmm. yeah i don't know what life Facts. <laughs> life just Facts. Had, uh, recitals life and happened. life and yes things happen we just we seemed like we couldn't get to this we yeah. got this funny picture up some of y'all <laughs> some of y'all may be familiar uh with this this experience Too familiar come on. Too familiar <laughs> come on so we want to talk about something that affects a lot of people yeah insomnia insomnia and what does insomnia mean we have come a on. definition of insomnia talk about insomnia it. is a common sleep disorder characterized by difficulty and falling asleep, staying asleep, are both, there are two main types of insomnia, short-term or chronic insomnia. And I think if you live in this world, 
Come on. You've had a little dose of that. That's right. Uh, and a matter of fact, um, let me share this real quick because we're mm -hmm. talking about insomnia, y'all. Y'all y'all look at these statistics, okay? Let me show you why we're talking about this. According to the C's for Disease Control and Prevention, yeah, about one in three adults in the United States reported not getting enough rest or sleep every day. So that's one that's in crazy. three. There's 200... And 58 million adults walking around sleep deprived. Sleep deprived. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: when I don't get like my adequate amount of sleep, you already know. Come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, somebody, somebody know about that, right? You already know. come on, because this thing runs. I, I, you know, <laughs> and we're gonna talk about this too, because I want to be careful how I word this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, and let me tell you something: sometimes we overclaim these things. Yes. Yeah, right? right, right, right. So we're not talking about self-denial, but I'm saying that this is something that has run in my family. But I want to even start saying, be careful how you claim it. But I know the experience of this. Right. A lot of times people can feel depressed. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the some of the signs of insomnia is what? A brain fog. Yeah. Um, depression. Depression. Uh daily fatigue. We Body talked about aches. chronic fatigue yes. before. Uh, chronic body aches mm -hmm. and sometimes we don't know that it's the result of trouble sleeping yes come on yes and throughout our many years we figured some things that triggers you not sleeping come on now we all know the, the main one we're going to talk about yeah. the more physical right That's now right. here we go to the main right one, come on you know? <laughs> yes let's 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 get into that so for one of the first ones who's done this you have that smartphone come on in your bed that's it right by your head right by your pillow that's back right. in the day you used to have that bible under your pillow right. your grandma's <laughs> now people got the phone under the pillow Crazy. that's right come on see this is a real big one yeah this is a real big one, fam. and we want to talk about this because a lot of times in the body of Christ, we don't have health things mm -hmm. that affect our body, no, right? No. So you have a lot of times people in the body of Christ who've got dietary issues, mm -hmm. um, family diseases that run in their bloodline, yeah. things like sleep deprivation. Yeah, and we don't talk. You may not hear this preached behind the pulpit. Mm -hmm. So we want to get on this, but you just touched on the biggest one and it's technology. Mm -hmm. Technology. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell y'all, that's a very big one, man, because there's something called blue light mm -hmm. that is coming behind these screens, computer mm -hmm. screens, tablet screens, yeah. cell phone screens. And what we don't realize is that it interrupts our pattern. Yes, it does. You know? Absolutely. And even... We, even with the screen, you know, you yeah. may turn on your phone and, oh, Diddy done done it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now you got to go research now, Where's Diddy? <laughs> Come on. Everybody looking for Diddy. Now you got updates. You got to go to work tomorrow. Right. But you getting updates from this news post. I swear the other day I had like four different uh, <laughs> web channels just kept throwing me updates about yeah. where where the uh, people were raiding this home. I'm yeah. like, good God. If you're not careful, it will it will like addict you to it. Absolutely. You can become addicted to all the updates. Absolutely. There we go. You <laughs> want to see, oh, what was that? Where happened now? Uh -huh. right. who, who got elected? What? That's right. <laughs> Like, come on. Come on, y'all. I want to say something real quick just on that note. Y'all, don't get so caught up in where Diddy is that you go slacking and losing your salvation. I know that's not on topic, but don't get so caught up in where Diddy is, where T.D. Jakes is, or where all these people are that you lose track of the salvation of your life. Yeah. So that's a big thing because we have now, I think we're in a generation of so many people, not just young. Mm -hmm. This is not just young people. It's easy to get addicted to this. Absolutely. Right? 100%. It, because I'm a big music person. Yeah. So like if I'm at work or 
I'm yeah. working out or I'm cooking, I like to have music on. What do yeah. you do? Oh, I gotta find a new song. That's oh, I right. like this song. That leads me to right. that. So it's come on. It's like a convenience tool, yes. but it's ruling our life. Yes. It That's really true. is. We have to learn to manage that. Right. Absolutely. So, so some of y'all out there who are having sleep problems, we just help somebody. Yeah. Because I know this helped me. Yeah. A lot of times too, let me speak to people out there with something I learned. Leaving the TV on. And it just having the blaring light, yeah, that can affect you because what that light is doing is is preventing your brain's natural production of melatonin. Mm. Melatonin is that stuff some people go and buy, some people give it to their kids or they use it to go to sleep. Well, guess what? Your body is supposed to produce that naturally, naturally. but if you yeah. have that light constantly going into your eyes, yeah. it's sending a signal to your brain that your body's not ready to go to sleep. Mm. So when you finally lay down to go to sleep, you don't have the production of that melatonin naturally and organically. It makes sense. You know? Wow. wow. So I, 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 I think that's down. one we definitely, uh, you want it, all of you want to think about that. Yeah. Also think about that for your kids. Don't let them fall asleep Ooh, on yeah. the tablet. Don't let them fall asleep on the cell phone because right. uh, you're going to find it will just begin to disrupt your mm-hmm. sleep patterns. And it's another one. Eating on. before bedtime. Yes. Come I'm on. getting them cheeseburgers <laughs> at 9 and 10 in a milkshake. Yes. And we, we're talking from experience. Yes. Lord God. We're talking you tell our business. Come on, I'm gonna tell our business, right? Hey, God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Good to see you out there. But that's another one we don't think about. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's not only your diet, but let's focus on this. It's when you eat. Yes. It's a, a lot of um, your yep. your your, your um, sleep and the quality of sleep you yep. get is gonna be what time you eat. For sure. The later you eat, the more work you're putting on your digestive system. Mm. And what we learned is that if you, man, some years ago, we were guilty of this. It was like, it, you know, it's late. You get a little munchy. You go get rushes. You get that burger Ooh, and the fries. Yes, and guess sir. what you don't realize? The ketchup is full of sugar. Yes, it is. We had to learn that. <laughs> we had to learn that. What's keeping us up? Oh, the ketchup. <laughs> Come on. The pound of sugar in their hands. Because the older you get, the more value your sleep has. Woo. Come on. That's a big So you start me. having to try to figure out, why is it I'm having such difficulty with sleeping through the night? And then here's the other thing. Sometimes you're sleeping through the night, but you're not getting restful sleep. Right, right, right. right. Absolutely, like yeah. it's disturbed, and you just don't have a peaceful sleep. That's right. I so, that so y'all, listen. Eat the later you eat, the more work you're putting on your digestive system. Mm-hmm. So you wanna, if you're having trouble sleeping, and you feel like um, you're listening to what we're saying, and, and maybe mm-hmm. it's you start realizing that you do eat late, like after seven thirty, eight eight right. thirty. You may want to start pulling back on your eating times right. and reducing the sugar, eating sugar later at night. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And always drink water, 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 water to Come cleanse on. you out. That's so important. That's right. Because a lot of times we're dehydrated. That's, That's the biggie. Come on. Is, is we don't drink enough water. That's what we're it. supposed to. And guess what? Life doesn't support us drinking water. That, it does. Because now you got to go to this meeting. <laughs> or you got to go pick this person up. Now you sit and in the car. And you want to use the bathroom in the meeting. Like, like, oh, work. my goodness. <laughs> so it doesn't support you with a, li- a healthy right. lifestyle, but you have to find ways within to the matrix. Yourself. Come on. To hydrate, hydrate yourself in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. So um, a third one. It says heartburn. Yeah. Heartburn is going to connect really, with, yeah, yeah. That's going to heart, that's going to reflect back with different foods as well. Yeah. Uh, so you yeah. have to, this is where you want to know your body. Yeah. Sometimes it's spicy foods. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. for some people, yeah. um, it's spicy foods or foods in high sodium. Yeah. One of the things that we just have to realize is that um, our body is a temple, mm-hmm. right? So what we put in the temple is going to affect how God is able to operate through us. Right. Right. Yes, so one of the best things that we learned, and we've talked about this before, is food combinations. Mm-hmm. Right. Learning to eat, just be more mindful about what you eat and right. listening to your body. Like when you put fried foods in your body, how does you how does your body feel? Do you feel energized Sluggish. or do you get sleepy? Do you have yeah. the itis? Yeah. Right. 
and then mixing a lot of meats with carbohydrates, right? It, mm -hmm. it makes your body have to work harder. Yes, it does. But when you do meats, for say, with vegetables, mm -hmm. or if you're going to do carbohydrates like bread and starches, mm -hmm. do them with more vegetables so that your body's not having to work so hard and causing things like the heartburn and yeah, digestion. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, another one is medication. Yes, this is a big one. This is a really big one. I want to throw this out there, family, because this is something the Lord showed me the other day. Mm -hmm. The Lord showed me that, especially in the in the West, we are pharmaceutical cyborgs. Mm -hmm. Don't steal that, y'all. I, I created that. <laughs> <laughs> we are pharmaceutical cyborgs. Let me tell y'all what I mean by that. Pharmaceutical cyborgs is when you get into this cycle of, well, for the morning, I need high doses of caffeine. Yes, I so I need um, high. The, uh, what is it? The uh, energy drinks. Mm -hmm. I, I can't talk even till I have that. I'm my energy that. drink or my coffee. No, we're not demonizing coffee oh, and no. energy drinks, but we're we're just saying that some of this it stuff is impacting us, yeah, right? Yes, it does. So what I'm saying with our, when I say pharmaceutical cyborgs, sometimes we have this habit of having this high energy kind of diet and drink beverages mm -hmm. in the morning. And then guess what? By the time we've gotten so filled with that in the day, by night, we need another type of chemical, a, a sleep else. medicine yeah. or uh, uh, some kind of uh, some type of sleep, uh, sleep support. Right. So we're waking up on chemicals and we're going to sleep on chemicals mm -hmm. and we don't know that it's overworking mm -hmm. our nervous system. Yes. You see? And Absolutely. a lot of us have no idea that we're in that. Absolutely. It's like a vicious cycle. And then guess what? That begins to impact different organs. Mm -hmm. So now you've got to go to the doctor to now deal with those organs and they give you another chemical, another pharmaceutical. Not Once again, we are not knocking uh, medications. Right, right, right. But we're saying that God has given us from nature, his own technology, in gardens, in, in nature to help begin to move us away from those That's things. That's right. Good. So, yeah. Um, one of the last ones, I think you touched on it, caffeine, mm -hmm. nicotine, yes. and alcohol. Yes. And alcohol has a high amount of sugar. Sugar. It. it has a high amount of sugar. And I want to share this about uh, alcohol as well. Alcohol has been used for centuries yeah. to help people sleep. Okay. However, what they don't tell you is this. Alcohol prevents you from going into REM sleep. Mm. REM sleep. Let me explain mm -hmm. what that is to everyone real quick. REM sleep, if you have not heard about that, is uh, it, REM means rapid eye movement. There's a place where when you're sleeping, your eyes are moving really rapidly, and it's the point when you're dreaming. Yeah. Right? Dreams are very imp important. In the Bible, the word for dream is shalom, and it actually means health or to heal. There are African cultures that believe it was healthy for you to dream, right. that you needed dreams to help get a not only a good night's sleep, but a restful amount of sleep. That's Much right. of the Bible prophecies come through dreams, right? Mm -hmm. So dreams are important. So my point to say is sometimes you can sleep through the night, but you did not get rest, mm -hmm. right? So there's a difference between sleeping and rest. The Bible says, I'm going to read the scripture, it says, uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28, many of y'all heard the scripture, it says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Mm. Rest means restoration, right? Right. So the alcohol will damage that as well as caffeine uh, and nicotine and those things. So you want to be able to manage those things. If you're on them, start seeking help to kind of begin to diminish those things out of your life. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you and connect with people who can help guide you away from those things. Absolutely. And there's so many things that you can transition off of. Yeah. And if you do drink coffee, don't drink it mid-afternoon. That's just the right. no-no. Right. Like, it's going to be running through your system. Be, absolutely. And yeah. we, one of the thing, tips I like, I'm, I'm always going to be for the matcha. Okay? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm always going to be for the come matcha. On. And we get come pure on. ground matcha yes so, you know we started with japanese shipping. matcha yes japanese so matcha. good and we put it in like coconut milk 
Mm-hmm. We put a little agave in it. You can't tell me we and we be so hyped. I'm telling you, naturally hyped, but not that jittery hyped. No, you know, not that uh, not that Chris Rock in New Jack City. <laughs> not the, not the pookie, not pookie, <laughs> not the pookie hype, right? We're talking about a natural, a natural, high, a natural strengthening of your body. Mm-hmm. And I sent you an article today, and I saw that so many good, um, good elements to a matcha. It's, yes. it's good for lowering certain things in your body. It's That's good right. For your heart. It's just good. It's a good anti- antioxidant. Great anti- anti-cancer. Anti-cancer good for your brain. And I mean, I just love the taste of it. It tastes like real earthy. I love it. Yes, me too. It's so good. Don't me let me too. Get, don't. Come on. I'm going to give y'all another. You saw me type this. Now, one of the things that I sell on my website, y'all, is mm-hmm. this. <laughs> he said, not <laughs> poop. We don't want that. Come on. We don't not want white lips. <laughs> Come on. Poop. They, one good thing about that movie is it probably shunned a lot of people away from drugs. Ooh, okay. Not so come on with that. But I'll tell you something else I've been researching. I, I don't know if I got to share this with you, but black seed oil is excellent for sleep. Mm. I don't know if y'all know that. I didn't know that. If y'all go to my website, arctalk.org, we sell black seed oil. Okay? So it's a it's it promotes uh weight loss, it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, it fights off cancer, but it's also very good for sleep. It's a very great thing to take at night because it calms down your immune system, mm, right? Yeah. So wow. that's another thing. So we, we like to talk about this because God has given us the answers. Yes, he is. He's yes, given he us the answers. Absolutely. We just sometimes have to hear it because, you're right, faith comes by hearing. Sometimes mm-hmm. it takes faith to go away from the doctor's office, not like we say, we're not demonizing the doctor's no, office, but we're saying God is the original physician. hundred percent. And, it, and it's, it's good to try different things because yeah. some things work for some people and some things work for That's others, right. you know? That's right. Like another thing I like is, um, Beet powder. I mean, Ooh, that's a good one. It's disgusting, but it works for me. That's for right. My, for my blood and everything. I, I that's right. feel it working in me. So, you just got to try what works for you and your Absolutely. body. Absolutely. Yes, it is, brother. And I'm going to put the link in here uh, for some of the links in it as well for it. And I put my arttalk.org website in there. I want to um, I just want to throw another one from the spiritual side on here, too. Yes. Wrap right? it up. Yep. Because as we get ready to finish, a lot of times we don't have rest because we don't have a relationship with God. Mm. And when we don't have a relationship with God. Our trauma, see, trauma is not what happened to you. It's what's happening in you after whatever happened. Yeah. I want y'all to know that. So, so, so a lot of times we're reliving it. And, and when we haven't dealt with pain that we have uh, went through or unforgiveness, mm-hmm. I want to say this. There, a, a good sign <laughs> of unforgiveness uh, a lot of times is a lack of being able to sleep. Yeah. Right. Yes. It's a lack of being able to, 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 to go to sleep. Yeah. Listen to this scripture today that I, I went through, family. This is Psalms 127 and 2. This is a fringe benefit of being a friend with God. It says, in vain you rise early and stay up late toiling for food to eat, mm. for he grants sleep to those who he loves. Golly. Come on. Not in the written word. In the written word. (laughs) It says this in Psalms 4 and 8. Listen to this, y'all. In peace, I will lie down and sleep, for you alone make me dwell in safety. Mm. I wanted to just say that from a counselor's perspective, that a lot of times, too, we need to check the level of sin in our life. I know we're talking about caffeine, alcohol, screen time, but sin is just like too much screen time. Right. Sin is just like too much caffeine. Mm-hmm. It's just like too much alcohol. It actually gets into our spirit. Right. And it keeps you up at night when your mind is racing because there may be someone who did something to you or someone you are keeping, you're staying angry at. Mm-hmm. And the Lord has already prescribed the solution. He says you got to forgive them. That's good. If you don't forgive them, what does the scripture say? I won't forgive you. Right. And you, you can't hold on to. Only forgiveness. That's so toxic That's for your Come body. On. Your Come mind on. start racing. Well, why they said this to me? Why they looked at right. me? It don't matter. That's forgive right. them. 
That's but right. Yeah, so you can move on let yourself. It go. Let it go. Let it go. You know. Absolutely. Good afternoon, woman of God. Good Hi, afternoon, woman of God. Here. Intercessor Yolanda Miller. And that, that's so key what you said. And we're getting ready to get out of here. But there is such a release that comes through forgiveness. Yeah. Can I tell y'all something? When you walk in forgiveness, it's not just a one-time thing. It's a thing you learn to practice. Mm -hmm. And when you practice it, you will walk in a peace that will aggravate people. Mm. People who think they're trying to take advantage of you and manipulate you, and people come to you and be like, you know, so and so don't like you, you know, so and so uh, trying to mm -hmm. trying to get over you, and because you have the peace of God, it won't wreck your day. That's right. Because you have a rest in His Word. That's right. Right. That's right. So I we, I really wanted to hit that, mm -hmm. and and the last one I'm tying in, and we're gonna get out of here is this. This is Hebrews four, chapter four, verse nine through eleven. Y'all listen to this, and we're gonna get out of here. Come on, uh, you said Damn. someone will always have a hold on you when you don't forget. That's right. That's what yes, I tell yeah. people. Why give them that power right. over your That's life? Right. That's right. Forgiveness isn't for the other person. That's it's right. for it's for us to be positioned right with God. That's right. Come on, I love that woman of God. This is Hebrews four, chapter four, verse nine and eleven. Then we're gonna get out of here. Y'all listen to this. This is the power of obedience and and rest. Mm -hmm says this, there remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. Mm. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their example of obedience. I wanted to just it's go better. in. Come on, you have anything to say on that? No, no, go ahead. That, that's, I wanted to end on that family on two levels. Guess what? God knows we got to hustle out here. Mm. You got to hustle to keep these lights on. He knows you got to hustle to keep your babies fed, keep yourself fed and closed. But you know what? Two things. One, our rest in him is a relationship with Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. We have to repent, mean to acknowledge that we're the problem. Not my mama, not my daddy, not my community, yeah, not, my, not people who did, but me. I have been distanced from him through my sin. And I have to repent and turn to him. Mm. I have to surrender and get down on my ashy knees and <laughs> surrender to him. I got to do that. Can't nobody That's do it right. for me. That's right? right. But then here's the last thing, y'all. Mm -hmm. He also knew in the hustle, you need to take a day of rest. Thank you, Lord. You know it's been. That's yes. right. Woo. I just wanted to say that, family. Yes. There's been cultures that have tried to eradicate a day of rest. And the suicide rates go up. Mm. That's why back in the day, the old people not only rest, but they made you take a nap. They sure right? did. <laughs> yes, they did. Now they'll do it on Sunday, the true Sabbath, biblically, Sabbath. hebraically, is Saturday. Right. But they knew you had to take a day so that your body and your soul, your soul could rest. be restored. That's good. That's <laughs> so we good. got to obey God. Obeying God will help break insomnia too. Yes, it will. And when yeah. you feel restless in that bed, which right. I have felt before, I feel, yes. say it. All right, Lord, Lord, let me go on and get on up. On. <laughs> and do what? And pray. That's right. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'll be like, oh, for real, God, That's you want me to get up? All right. Come on. <laughs> Being in prayer and in the word is your greatest source of rest. Yes. Right? Absolutely. So I definitely want to say that because, family, can I tell you something? If you are on this walk with God, you're not always going to be able to get good sleep. I'm going to tell you That's that right, right. now. That's you're right. going gonna to have uh, family issues that go on. You, it may be your spouse, it may be your children, it may be your parents. You may have seasons of strong intercession and yeah. prayer where he wake you up and say, you need to pray for your enemy. That's right. Or you need to pray for your pastor. That's right. Right. But if you are obedient, mm -hmm. even though your body, your body may get worn out, mm -hmm. he will still give you rest. That's right. So I love that because he will wake you up sometimes mm -hmm. now, especially my prophetic and intercessory people. Yeah. There's seasons he can wake you up for in 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. But if you're obedient, he's going to put it all together and yeah. refresh you. That's so awesome because yeah. even when you think about when God gives us the Sabbath, like even when yeah. we're sick, the yeah. first thing you're supposed to do is rest. rest. Your Come body on. cannot recover without yes. rest. Isn't that amazing? That's it. Like our body, our temple is fighting for That's us it. so we can move on to do That's our right. mission. That's it. <laughs> and I believe he set it up so that so if, awesome. if we obey him and he rests, then he will show up with us in mm. our work. 
I need them to show up with me in my work. Me too. Please. I need them to show up. With me. Sometimes I need them to show up when I'm facing these devils out here. Right? But but if I'm obedient, then he's going to give me that rest. And when I show up, sometimes what's going to happen is people are going to see him and not me. Amen. You know, us. Yes, you need to rest. You, rest also helps your mind rest. And so many yes, of us does. need that because we're in a very overworked, high stress type of society that doesn't yeah. honor. Um, the, the right type of rest. Yeah, that's right. Know. That's right. So that that was good. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Maybe did you have anything else um, that you um, you know wanted to share? Um, uh, no. I I think we just needed, you know, move through this myth that if you do rest your body, you're lazy. Oh, come on, come on! Because <laughs> a lot of us grew up with that. What? Right. There was. Right. Now we ain't talking about sleeping when you're supposed to work. Oh no, nah. No, we no. talking about resting oh. when it's time to rest. That's, no, <laughs> that is laying up. Uh, no, I'm not talking about that. Come on now. I, I don't, none of y'all people playing Xbox when y'all supposed to go to work and feed y'all family. I ain't trying. Don't excuse us for that. Absolutely, but like on your day of Sabbath, man. Yes. Ooh, I just be like, oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. I can just Rest. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, we forgot one baby that you do mm -hmm. that you brought into the house. Um, magnesium. Oh, yeah, yeah. Magnesium, magnesium water. water. Yeah. Mm, come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's good. Magnesium water. We gotta do a video on that and oh. just show how easy it is to it's do. It's very easy. well easy for you to do because I still don't know how to do it, right? <laughs> but anyway, it's very you, simple. Woman of God said, When my children get sick, I tell them that their body needs to rest. Come on. Mm -hmm. They are grown, and sometimes it can be a battle telling them to rest. They still need that wisdom. <laughs> That's right. Because sometimes, and listen, uh, listen, Miss mm -hmm. Miller, woman of God, my mom tell me the same thing. My mom does too. I, I still got to listen yeah. or pay the consequences. Yeah, my mom like, look like you need some rest. Right. I'm like, well, mom got to do this, girl. You're like, we got to do this, we got to do that. But you know, rest. You better rest. Or you something going to rest. Something going to sit you down. That's right. <laughs> You better yeah. rest when you get arrested. Yeah, I right. got sat down a couple of times. Uh, both so. of us. And it's not pretty. No. Then you end up taxing other people. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and close out, family. We just wanted to do a quick talk on this. Um, there's so much more that can be said about all of this. There's um so many types of teas you can drink, mm -hmm. like chamomile tea. Uh, oh yeah, you know valerian root, mm -hmm. um, lavender essential oils are good if you like yeah. essential oils. They can yeah. help relax you. So many different things we could have went on for a long time, but we just want to do a quick one that hopefully it helps somebody. If you're not getting rest, don't beat yourself up either. It yeah. it can take a long time to address sleep problems. It can. Yeah. Ask God's help. Yeah. Because He may give you something that's outside of what we said, mm -hmm. but hopefully something we said can get you. On the right path right with you and your you. relationship with uh, God. So. That's right. Hey everyone, we we enjoyed uh, talking with you all. We enjoyed uh, the feedback and everything. If you know someone battling with sleep, share this with them. Mm -hmm. Have them reach out to us as well. We may not have the answers, but uh, we know how to pray, and we do have some uh, experience with this. That's right. Yes, and um, and so we wanted to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. We're gonna say a quick prayer. We're gonna get out of here. All right. Right, Father, we thank you that you are the source of rest. Mm -hmm. We thank you that we can cast our burdens on you. We thank you that we don't have to lean to our own understanding, but that through a relationship with you, we can cast our burdens on you. And through that exchange, you will release rest in us, restoration in us, Lord. So we thank you for that, Lord. I pray for anyone who be, may be struggling with insomnia or sleep disorders or stress or chronic fatigue or dreams or nightmares at night right now, Lord. We pray that you will touch them by your faith. Finger, touch their head, Lord. Put rest in their eyes and their heart. Lord, convict them of the of the of the need to forgive if they're holding on to something, yes. Lord, and grant them rest today, Lord, as they turn to you. So we thank you, God, for this opportunity to just talk to your people. We thank you for the deliverance. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the breakthroughs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, family. Well, hey, this has been another uh Jamil and Joy podcast. Hey, we pray that all of y'all have a great evening and God bless to God everyone. Bless. All right, good evening.